welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet uh, something different today. Keep in mind, these are reissued figures from prior years, around 2017, 2018, but my friends over at Playmate sent these over to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Voltron, and I'm very happy to have these because I didn't pick them up the first go around, but you get all five lions, like the red lion here, classic legendary red lion, pretty cool. I like the old schoolness of what I'm seeing here. This is very cool packaging. You got Voltron, this is 40th anniversary. Everything's getting an anniversary, but the best part is it forms a 16 inch classic Voltron. It's really freaking cool. I'm just going to save you some time, but stay tuned for all of that. The backside shows everything you need to know about Voltron, the defender of the universe. And then you get to read up on everybody. The pilots, Lance is the pilot of the Red Lion. I'm talking about this like I know what I'm talking about. Voltron is not my thing, but I know some good toys when I see it. And here's the barcode. These are starting to hit Target store shelves, lightly hitting. Look for them more around April 21st and then well into May. But hopefully they will go up online at some point. You can look for links and I'll definitely post those. Now, from the Red Lion to now the legendary Blue Lion, Roughly, it's going to be the same packaging, but at least you get to see the legendary blue lion front and center right there through that crystal clear packaging on the backside. And this helps out someone like me, as someone that's not too familiar with the inner workings of Voltron. Now I'm well versed in the fact that Princess Allura pilots the I keep wanting to say the Triceratops Zord, but you know what I'm talking about, the blue lion. All right, so that's the real problem I'm having here with these because I grew up with Power Rangers. Obviously, this came first, but there's some um, overlap, we'll just say. The legendary green lion, that's very cool. Also, I like the fact that the pilot's name is Pidge, which... As you'll soon see with the electronics, they have all the names. It's pretty friggin' sweet. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this new toy. Well, I should say the reissue of these toys. But, like I said, Saber 2 Tiger, right? No, the legendary yellow lion. This is a toy from the originals to all the remakes and everything else up to this. I've always seen the yellow lion. That's always the figure that I see whenever we talk or ever I see Voltron in a thrift store or something like that, an old toy store. It's always the yellow one, but here's the barcode if you needs it. Now, with all those lions, you need the supreme legendary black lion, the basic body that you can form this giant 16 inch Voltron. And the best part is it has a try me button. I love that. I love having these old toys that say stuff, like 60 plus phrases. I thought that was a joke. No, they are not joking. There are so, I haven't even found them all. I tried, but there are so many swappable pieces and everything says something different when you have this mode and yada yada. You get the idea. Keith is the leader of the Voltron Lion Force, so he pilots the Black Lion. And I just, like I'm telling you, can't wait to build this thing, show it off. Here's the barcode for the Black Lion. Lion. And just as a heads up, the Black Lion is going to run you 30 bucks. The regular Lions will run you 20 for when you find them in store. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new reissues of the Playmates Toys 40th anniversary. The blue, the black, the green, the red, and the yellow Lions that all form Voltron, the legendary defender of the universe. And while I got a new space lions here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like a bunch of space lions that turn into a robot. So, we'll kick it off with the blue lion. And just as a heads up, the blue lion and the yellow lion are the same. The red and the green are the same. Then we'll talk about the black one. The blue one comes with this really cool bladed weapon. It has a little tab right there, it fits into the mouth. You also get attachment pieces, and this is something you will see throughout all the lions in this line, which is really cool, and it all works well, but the best part is that each one comes with a projectile firing mechanism. 
and it works and it is so freaking cool man it's been a while since we've had toys like this not only that but it has electronics but more on that in just a few because when you have this blue lion which is really well articulated now way back in the day i had the original voltron i got it at a garage sale it was all metal reminded me in my head as a little kid i'm like oh it's a transformer no voltron right big difference but these definitely remind me of playing with that voltron and it does pretty much everything that i remember it's a lot lighter but there's still some heft to these it's just not all die cast metal anymore but Plenty of articulation, and then you have the little flappy in the back where that will be the ports where you attach the legs. That will be the same on the yellow line as well. But it brought back a lot of nostalgia for me, and I really like this. Voltron is definitely not my thing, but like I said, I know it's good toys when I see it. You see that little porthole right there, and that's where the bladed weapon is going to slip in. And that, again, will be the mainstay across the line with all these lines. The same thing with all these attachment pieces. Basically, on all the legs, you can attach them wherever you'd like, including the blasters and bingo bango. You got yourself a well-souped-up blue lion. Looks pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Now, to talk about... The yellow lion, which again, is going to have the same doodads, attachment pieces, although they're all different. And I, I love that aspect, like a war wheel here. You got a really cool bladed weapon. Do keep in mind, let's just say on the yellow one, some of the yellow is different from the painted yellow to then the plastic yellow. There's a big stark difference. Now, this right here, this big old projectile firing mechanism looks like two missiles, but it's really one, it looks like they both fire off at the same time, but I'm good with that. So you do the same thing as the blue line, attach all the various pieces, and boom, you got yourself a great accompanying fellow leg lion. This will be right next to the blue, so you got blue and yellow as the legs, and like I said, I really am enjoying all the articulation that these have, especially in the jaw. The jaw is on a, a hinge, so it will automatically snap shut, but I totally dig that, of course, with all the attachments. There's a lot of fun here, but it's nothing compared to when you build Voltron, but we'll get to that in just a few. Now, with the red line, this is where we're gonna change things up. So these are gonna be the arm pieces. Now, you do get a bladed weapon. There is some paint, some yellow here and there, and you got some grays and some red. Then you have this interesting looking blaster right here, which to me, yeah, that's very anime looking, along with the projectile launcher. Again, to have all these parts and pieces be different for every lion, that's a nice touch. But this specific red lion comes with the sword, the main sword that Voltron wields. It has a little peg system. That's how it will slip into his hand. The one gripe that I have about this is that in all the cool artwork, it obviously has a lot more paint. I really wish they would have painted it because it's just a gray plastic sword. With the actual red lion himself, the mouth is a little bit easier to maneuver. It's a little bit of a push button, quote unquote. You do have some articulation in the midsection, which again, as the old toy, I do remember that. Not as good as this one though, if I memory serves me right. But I have to say the tails here, that would be one of my gripes. For the reds and the greens, they slot in kind of, sort of, and I have wiggled this thing all the way around. It just doesn't want to seem to stay. It basically just kind of pushes in, and I wish that it was more of a situation where it stayed put, or you could feel that it slotted in. It has this little slot piece right here, which of course reminds me of the old Toy Biz Punisher that turned into a gun. It's a very awkward part to pull out, but that's how you're gonna attach it to the main Voltron Black Lion robot. Again, underneath his jaw is a bit of a push button, quote unquote. You're basically pushing up the jaw so you can get him to talk. Plenty of articulation, the head, the waist, you get the idea. And to soup this red lion up, He's one of my favorites. He's actually pretty cool. I like the missiles on this guy too. And now to complete not only the legs, but the final arm piece for Voltron, we have the green lion, which comes with this interesting spike piece that attaches. You also have his bladed weapon, which you got green amidst the gray. That's really cool. I like how they all just have bladed mouth weapons, but 
Again, as I'm going to point out, the projectile firing is always going to be a gas to me. So that's really cool. I absolutely love that. And they all work, too. That's the bonus. Now, much like the Red Lion came with the sword, you're going to get the Voltron shield. It's going to hold it the same exact way. It pegs into the mouth. And again, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's, it's just gray plastic weapons. There's some paint on the shield, but more oomph required for this awesomeness. And the green lion itself, you saw the red lion, now you have the green lion, it's gonna do the same thing with the jaw. There are some paint gripes here and there. You'll kind of see it on the black lion. In some instances where they have painted these, they get a little messy sometimes. Also, the tail is gonna be the same cumbersome thing as the red lion. So these are all things where, yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but it overall doesn't detract from the fun that is this toy. So you have all these lions now souped up. They all have bladed weapons in their mouth. They're ready to cut you. But now we got one last lion to look at. So this is more of the deluxe lion, the bigger lion, as he well should be. It's going to form the main body of the Voltron robot. But as you'll soon see, you'll understand why this is the more expensive piece out of this Voltron collection. And then just to show you the scale between all of the lions, you see here we have essentially red and green, yellow, blue, and then the main black lion, which of course the red and green form the arms and you've got the legs right here and then finally the main torso. So yes, you would definitely need a more bulkier, bigger lion to house all of those parts and pieces and bigger and bulkier he is. He's definitely got some heft to him. He's gonna have all the major articulation along with the electronics. The tail I like that will fit into his back. He does have the wings that fold up nicely so you can have those outstretched if you want or you can keep them just well on his back. It's up to you and how you want to display him. And I do remember with my old Voltron constantly folding the wings. And as you can see right here on his back, there is a clear on and off switch. More on that in just a few. When you look at the head, it will get some nice rotation. You can get it looking down, up, side to side. His arms will go out. You'll have the, again, same exact articulation as you see with all the other lions. But this one is just a more chunkier version. But like I said, the main draw for this black line is this button right here on the side. So you're going to want to make sure that you switch this from off to on, and that's where the magic is going to happen. The galaxy is about to be secure. Form Voltron! You heard the man. Let's get this Voltron assembled. So... You basically are going to transformer this thing in so many ways. That's how I really see it. Make sure you have the button turned on for everything. That's where I really had a lot of fun. You can fold the wings, do the tail. You get the idea. The arms right here, there's a little hatch that you open up, and that's where you're going to fold the arms in. It is very much self-explanatory when you have this in hand. I shouldn't see anybody having problems I got it right off the bat, and I'm not very good with Transformers. You want to extend the legs all the way down. You have the wings and the head, which we will save for the final, final part of the transformation. When it comes to the lions, basically, you'll want to start with the blue and yellow. So these all just kind of fold up as such. Again, very self-explanatory, not much to it. Simple transformations. The tail goes up, the head goes up, and then you want to slot this in. And when I first did that, not ever having these figures, that was shocking to me. I absolutely love the way that looked. If you want to detach, slowly pull this out and push up on that, and the leg will come right out. Same thing with the yellow lion. Insert. Yellow lion, leap it into action. And I love that each one has some kind of different sound bites to it, especially with the red. That'll be the exact same thing, although now it's an arm. That's why it has that extra articulation in the middle. The tail, again, as cumbersome as it is, you just kind of push it in, and so this is the best way I can explain it. Pull out the little tab right there, rotate the arm, and right here, this is a button which will release the arm when you want to take it apart. I'm with you, Keith. That's my right-hand man. But again, I love that there's sound effects for every single transformation part. Everything that attaches has a little nod, a little wink to what happens in the show. That, that's some good 
toys right there. I told you, this is quite an epic toy for, for being a reissue. It's amazing. And as I said previous on the front, when you rotate it, when you want to want to slot the arms in, you never want to pull on anything. You just simply push down on this button and that will detach it automatically. It's push to release. But all that said, let's assemble the final piece and... is that for a toy assembly that's something i haven't seen in so long but so refreshing to give him his sword his shield you got the wings out the face plates down that is so freaking cool and this robot is huge they're not lying when they say oh yeah it's a over a 16 inch tall voltron robot everything for the most part is pretty sturdy the only problem I would say you kind of run into some stability issues with the legs, but to me it's a quick fix. You just kind of get him into a stance. Not once did he fall over, but I could imagine him falling over if he didn't have something behind him. If you want to do it more in this kind of vanilla pose, just kind of straight up and down. The sword, the shield, nothing really adds to the weight if you want to have those up have those down as long as the legs are in a sturdy position i don't foresee you having much of any problems or to be on the safe side get yourselves one of those doll stands clip it around his waist and you'll be good to go because this is a very heavy figure none of those little lightweight stands are going to be helping you anytime soon so with Voltron, if you're wondering, how does the articulation go? Everything is ratcheted. Everything moves fluidly. It's very robotic, but it is very well done. And as you move him around, as he's clicking and clacking, you can push the sound button again. One thing I will point out is that I found that attaching the green lion last activates the button after you've already assembled Voltron to where it'll still say things. If you do the red lion last, it gets stuck for some reason. It's kind of a weird situation. The head's got plenty of rotation, as you can clearly see, although you may see the faceplate kind of folding up from time to time, but that's not a big deal. You pull his little horns down on the side. Those are nicely done. The wings, you can fold them in, fold them back. It's up to you. But again, with the legs, that's just something where once you have it assembled, you'll figure it out. But they're very sturdy. They're very ratchety. And I found little and no problem. He even has double jointed knees and they stay perfectly. None of the lions fell out. Nothing fell apart. It's refreshing to be able to say that and not go, yeah, it's kind of janky, you know? No, that is not a word I would ever describe for this Playmates Voltron. This is one of the coolest toys I've looked at in quite some time. If I'm being honest, everything works, everything looks good. It's just an awesome toy. Now, there's not much going on on the backside. In fact, it's just kind of a bunch of screw holes and whatnot, but thank God it's on the backside because you're not gonna be looking at that all too often. But like I said, when you get him into a really cool legendary defender pose, it stays. It looks good. I had him propped up on my desk for about 24 hours, never fell over. And like I said, utilizing the sword, the shield, nothing really weighs it or off balances it as long as the legs are sturdy. And again, that's where all the ratcheted joints really help in making this an awesome looking toy. So for that alone, yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. I got no qualms whatsoever. Uh, some extra paint here and there, a little bit better paint here and there. Sure, that's one aspect. But yeah, you can definitely lift the sword high above his head and do all that sweet Voltron posing out action. Now, real quick, I'm going to kind of dim the lights. That way you can see the electronics a lot better. But the front plate lights up. And that, again, is very cool. And it has a lot of phrases. There are a ton here. We've got to hang on somehow. Here's something you're going to like even more. Form Blazing Sword. Activate Laser Blades. Come on, robots. 
You're only a bunch of nuts and bolts! Pitch, talk to me. Are you hurt? It's not enough. We should fire again. Princess, we're a team, and we really need you. I trust you, Keith. Robies, coming in! Fire lasers! That's the blazing sword in action! Princess, we're a team, and we really need you! Your time is running out, Zarkon! To look at the scale of this Voltron figure, to go from McFarlane to NECA, Hasbro Marvel Legends, even an old Sentinel, because, well, we have to remember it, wink wink, but... Yeah, this Voltron's huge, not gonna lie. This will be an excellent piece on your shelf as a display piece, as a conversation piece. And for the price, yeah, look no further. It's a pretty cool Voltron. So that is gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new reissue of the Playmates Toys Voltron for the 40th anniversary. This was awesome. Highly recommend it, must grab. Head out to your targets, find it. Hopefully they put it online. Again, I'll put the links, but... Yeah, I'm blown away. This is a really fun toy to play with. And now I'm glad that I have an excellent representation of Voltron on my shelf. So keep those eyes open if you're looking when you head out to Target this weekend. You've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Voltron. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to the legendary Defender of the Universe... Who would have thought? Playmates Toys, you rocked it. When they did, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.